Hello friends, welcome back and I have been doing this for a very long time already, trying this take. Hello friends, 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 hello, hello. Because I haven't made video in I think almost a year, maybe even more. That's why I'm not used to it anymore. But it's okay, we'll get through it. Uh, I decided to share with you one of my favorite recipes. It's a uh, chickpea cauliflower potato curry. Potato curry. And why I'm sharing this recipe? Because it's very comforting food. It's end of this year. Uh, it's been a very interesting year for all of us and we all need to be comforted, I believe. And also, I feel like there is lots of misconception about vegan food, vegan cooking. Everybody thinks that it's too expensive, too complicated or not tasty. And I want to bust this myth by showing you that combining a couple of basic ingredients correctly can make them very tasty, make them look very nice. And I think that's all I wanted to say. So we can start. I'm going to first show you the ingredients and then we can begin. So as I said, a couple of basic ingredients you can get almost anywhere. A bunch of potatoes, I'm not going to tell you the exact amount. I'm going to make a huge pot, so I'm using one, two, six, seven potatoes. Uh, you see it's like maybe one and a half kilo, I would say, depending on the portion you make. Uh, one big onion, garlic, I like lots of garlic, so I use half of the whole clove. Uh, you can use even the whole one. Uh, medium sized cauliflower, I would say. I would say this is medium size or even small. You can add even more if you like cauliflower. Then chickpeas. I use right now canned chickpeas. You can soak it, cook it before. I didn't. You have to do it at least day before. Um, as a side to... For the curry will be rice. I like basmati rice. You can use any rice you like. It can be brown rice, black rice, white rice, any rice. Then we have cashews. Cashews will be used in the in the variant. I would say maybe half cup, even one cup. I'll show you in the end because this will be for thickening the sauce. Then we have tomato, which many people might think is weird, but the tomato really adds a little bit of different flavor to it. Um, I use one and a half, half because I already had half in my fridge. I would normally use maybe two, maybe one. Then uh, let's go to spices. So I got some bay leaves here. Maybe like three big bay leaves, I would say, approximately. As I said, I'm not going to give you approximate amount of anything because the way I cook is very different all the time and I just do it as I feel it. Then we have paprika powder. Again, I'm not going to tell you exactly how much probably like I would say two tablespoons maybe. Then we have this one is curry powder, very important because it's a curry and turmeric powder. Turmeric not as much because turmeric can be very strong. The flavor of it can be very strong but it's really really good for you. Very healthy. Uh, interesting fact if you didn't know turmeric has strong anti-inflammatory effects and it's like one of the strongest antioxidants, one of the highest amounts of antioxidants from probably all vegetables out there I would say. And a very interesting fact, they did lots of research and experiments and in a petri dish if they put cancer cells and they were putting turmeric on it, it actually killed the cancer cells so definitely something you would like to eat as much as you can or just add it to your food. And then of course salt and pepper. I'm not having them there, they're there. Salt and pepper and I think that's it. And water as well. You will use water to create the sauce and then thicken it with the uh, cashews. I feel like many people use coconut milk, coconut oil. You can do that. But this is the way I do it. It's very simple and don't need to complicate it with any coconut oil or cream. And I think that's it. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started.
Okay, we're putting onion in. <laughs> right, we are sauteing. How do you say sauteing? Sauteing? Sauteing. We are sauteing onion first. And only after we'll add garlic because garlic takes very little time to get burned. Making my neighbors happy. I like it when you saute onion and people start asking, wow, what are you cooking? It smells so nice. It's fucking onion. Now we're adding garlic. Chop it, chopped into very tiny pieces. Okay. We leave the garlic there for literally a couple of seconds because it's starting to burn immediately. And now, now, we add a little bit of water, maybe a third of a glass, Fuck. and we add the <laughs> we add the curry powder. I'll add more. This was just for the show. I'll add quite a lot actually, maybe two tablespoons. I'm making like the whole huge pot, so. Oh, it burns my eyes. Good. Got curry powder. Actually, I forgot to say. We are adding caraway seeds too. I didn't mention them. Just, just the, just like this, a little bit. And turmeric. Turmeric, maybe one teaspoon, I would say. It's more for the color than taste, but as I said, it's very healthy, beneficial. Couple of bay leaves. I'm adding three, four, five. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. So it doesn't start burning. Good. Come here, show us how it looks like. So it looks like something like this. It's a thick, creamy, Thing, uh, just curry powder and all the spices. And of course, we are about to, we are about to add pepper. Also very good for you. And pinch of salt. That was maybe a little bit more than a pinch. Alright, now we have this substance and we, we will just add everything else. Actually not everything else, we add potatoes. Just make them suck in all these delicious flavorful And now, <laughs> now we have tomatoes too. Cauliflower I'm gonna add a little bit later because uh, it will get overcooked very quickly. Okay, that's it. Also chickpeas, I'll add a little bit later because it's already very soft from the can. So cauliflower and chickpeas I add maybe after 15 minutes when the water starts boiling. And talking about water, speaking of water, we will add a lot of water now.
Okay, so as you can see, I added quite a lot of water. It's all swimming in it. So I let it boil now for some time. All right, in the meantime, while we're waiting for this to boil, I'm gonna cook rice. Um, if you don't know how to cook rice, you just add one cup, every cup of rice, you add double of the water. I do it just the way I see it, but that's how you normally do it. Add a pinch of salt and just boil it. So you start boiling it, uh, you start cooking it. Wait until it boils. Be careful when you cover it because it will come out. So maybe open the lid a little bit. And once it's boiling, I actually take the lid off and I just slowly let it boil or simmer until the water evaporates. Okay, and it's finally boiling. So now we can add all the cauliflower that we chopped on like roughly this kind of size of pieces. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's like this. We just add it all in. And we add all the chickpeas too. That's it. Now we just mix it and mix. Mix it all. And nice. Good. We will cover. Cover it and let it cook for about, I don't know how many minutes, but we just wait until the potatoes are soft. And rice is being cooked too. In the meantime, we're going to prepare the cashews. So we're just going to add the cashews into Nutribullet, blend them into the powder. And in the end, once, once the potatoes are soft, you're going to add the cashew powder. You will see how nicely it's going to thicken the whole thing. All right, so rice is ready. And the curry is nice. It's been boiling, it's been cooking. Potatoes are nice, nice and soft. Um, cauliflower also. So last thing of the recipe, we'll put the powdered cashews. It's the magic that's gonna make this thing nice and thick. So let's put it in. And now we just mix it in mix. A little bit. Good. Just let it boil a little bit, a few more minutes. Okay, so to be 100% honest, the magic trick with cashews didn't work as I imagined or as it usually works because I added way too much water. I know it's still very watery. Um, yeah, my bad. So lesson for you, don't add so much water. And sorry, I cannot tell you exactly how much you should add. Very easy to follow my recipes, right? Anyway, so it's almost... I'm gonna turn it off anyway, because if I still leave it cooking, it's gonna completely dissolve, which we don't want. For adventurous souls, which we are, I, you can add... I'm gonna add one chili pepper. I have chili peppers here dry. I'm gonna add just one chili pepper there. I'm gonna just literally do this with it and it's gonna add a little more of a kick to the whole curry. The whole, the curry itself, oh, that burns. The curry itself, it's curry spice, it's already spicy, but chili pepper will add it a little bit more kick. So if you like spicy, go for it. If not, just leave it how it is. And yeah, I think it can be served. Okay, and it's done, so let me try. Mmm, very hot. Good. Fuck, it's hot. Okay. I actually like it. It's it's very tasty. It's just a little bit watery. It's not as thick as I was 
as I usually make it, but that happens. Um, this took us like eight hours to make, me and my brother. Yeah, um, hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to let me know. <laughs> and yeah, um, not sure if you will be more, if there will be, not sure if there will be more recipe videos because I'm too old. <laughs> Not sure if you will see more <laughs> more cooking videos from me. Maybe let's see how this one goes and enjoy. Uh, enjoy if you try to cook this. It's just hot as fuck, and it will be ready to serve. Yes, who's the tax? I'm semi slow. Two Hello, friends. 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 Hello. Hello, friends. Hello. I'm back again. And as you can see, I look a little bit different, but let's not. What up guys, welcome to my very first video. Today we'll cook and it will be awesome. Kokot picha, kokot picha, kokot picha. Kurva poha jebať. Okay, povedz kedy. So we can just begin. You're not gonna... And tomatoes and we can start throwing everything to the pot. And garlic. Warm crazy. 